Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to change your iPhone's location? Normally, the iPhone uses its built-in GPS receiver to determine its location. But in this video, I will show you how to change your location so that your iPhone thinks that you're somewhere else. You can apply this on location-based apps or games like WhatsApp, Snapchat, or Pokemon Go. Let's go. Unfortunately, on normal iPhones that don't have a jailbreak, you can't just install an app to change your location. This is because the apps you have downloaded from App Store don't have that capacity. Aside from that, I don't recommend making a jailbreak if you're just testing it out. In worst case scenario, it may just cause harm to your device. Without a jailbreak, you will need to use a computer and install a program in order to change your location. There are several programs that you can use. I personally like iMyPhone's NE2 and Tenorshare's iNeGo, which works both on Windows and Mac. If you want to know more about each program, you can check out the links in the description below. In this video, I'll go more into detail how iMyPhone's NE2 works, but the application from Tenorshare functions mostly in the same way as well. With iMyPhone NE2, you can spoof a location and your location-based apps like Google Maps, Snapchat, or WhatsApp will inherit the fake location. You can try it with restricted access for free, or you can purchase a plan to have unlimited use of the features. Choose your plan by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. Now, let's start setting up your iMyPhone NE2. First, choose your operating system, then download and install it on your computer. Afterwards, launch the program and click Get Started. Next, connect your iPhone using an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure that there will be no problem with the transfer of data. If this is your first time connecting to the program, you have to confirm that you trust this computer when prompted on your iPhone and provide your passcode when required. The next time you connect to iMyPhone NE2, you can directly choose your device just like in my case here. You can either choose to connect via Wi-Fi or cable. I will choose cable connection because it is much stable and reliable. When you connect your iPhone to the software, make sure to keep your device unlocked and keep the screen from turning off. To ensure your phone screen stays on, go to Settings, tap on Display and Brightness, and select Auto Lock. Then set the configuration to Never. Once a connection is established, your iMyPhone NE2's dashboard should load the map. On the top right corner, you will see four different modes on which you can use to change location. These are the Joystick Mode, Two-Spot Mode, Multi-Spot Mode, and Teleport Mode. As I have mentioned earlier, iMyPhone NE2 offers a trial version, but it comes with restricted access. Here, you will see which features are available in the trial version and which ones are not. Now, let's try out each mode and see how they work. First is the Teleport mode, which allows you to jump to a location of your choosing. Note that on the initial load of iMyPhone NE2, this mode is selected by default. However, keep in mind that you will only be allowed to teleport to a location for five times if you're using the trial version. Please also note that teleporting to a location may incur warnings in your iPhone's location-based apps. So, to avoid any functionality error, make sure to close those apps before switching locations. But don't worry, this will not affect your device. Now, you can zoom in or out of the map using your mouse or the zoom buttons located in the lower right corner of the dashboard. Above the zoom buttons, there is also the Virtual Location button which allows you to focus on your current position. To teleport to a location, you can simply pin a spot directly on the map or use the search bar. After searching, click on Move, confirm it once again, and you will be automatically teleported to the selected destination. As you can see here on Maps, I have been teleported from Los Angeles to New York City Hall. Next is the two-spot mode, which will allow you to move from your current location to a selected destination. On the sidebar panel, you can choose how frequently your route will travel back and forth between the two places by setting a value in the Times field. If the number of times is greater than 1, a drop-down will appear wherein you can choose Returns or Loops. 
Selecting Returns will simulate the movement from start to finish, and then return to the starting location. On the other hand, Loops will set the movement to continuously travel back and forth between the two places until you choose to stop it. I just want the route to simulate once, so I will change the value back to 1. You can also drag the speed bar to customize your movement. In my case, I will set the speed under the car category. But your speed may go even faster by clicking on the plus icon underneath the slider. Below the speed bar, you can check realistic mode so that your movement will seem natural and not overly automated. If checked, your speed will vary for every 5 seconds. After setting up your route, click Move to start simulating the environment. As you can see on my iPhone, my current location is now moving along the map according to the planned route I've set on iMyPhone NE2. You can still modify your speed even if you have already started your route. To do this, pause the movement for a while in the sidebar panel. Drag the speed bar again or click the plus button for a faster pace. Then click continue to resume the movement. Another option is the multi-spot mode which allows you to plan a route with multiple locations. Pin multiple spots with simple clicks directly on the map or by using the search bar. You can also drag a specific pinned location to modify its position. Every time you pin a location, it will be added to the sidebar panel. You can remove a destination anytime by clicking on the Close button beside each location name. Other than that, you will see basically the same functions in the sidebar panel, like when on two-spot mode earlier. After setting everything up, you can see that the location on my iPhone is moving again according to the created route. You can stop the route whenever you like. Last is Joystick Mode. On the Joystick Mode panel, you can choose your pace using the speed bar to control your movement. To move forward or reverse, you can click the joystick directly or you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. As I control the joystick, my location is moving along on the maps as well. As additional information, iMyPhone supports changing GPS locations of five different iOS devices at the same time. On the lower right corner of the map, click on the phone icon to view the connected devices. Click on Add to connect another one. If you want to revert back to your original location, click on the Reset Location button. On iMyPhone, you will be automatically reverted back to your original location. However, this might not be the case for the applications on your iPhone. In order to revert your location changes, you will have to restart your device. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.